Jenny Alexander puts her green thumb to the test. She's planning a garden for her family, but she's not doing it alone. If I was in my backyard doing this by myself, I would have no clue, um, but I have so many great neighbors that are willing to help. So it makes it a lot easier to have a community garden. Neighborhood or community gardens are growing in popularity. University of Missouri Extension horticulturist David Trinkline says a garden is a great way to grow inexpensive food. Investing only $50 in seeds and garden supplies, a family can produce $1,200 in vegetables. If we are fairly good gardeners, we might be able to achieve 10 to 15 pounds of tomatoes per plant, and that's a lot more than many people realize tomato is uh, capable of producing. You don't have to start off big to grow a garden. Containers on a patio or a balcony would be another good way. The important thing is to garden. One teller gets the job done. Sharing equipment and supplies is another big advantage with community gardens. I think it's a great way to get started, you know, especially since there's other people who are gardening alongside you. MU Extension experts say gardening can save you money, but that's not all. There's physical health benefits, there's mental health benefits, there's nutritional benefits that all go along with gardening. In just a couple of months, Alexander and her family will not be making as many trips to the grocery store. If I could come up here and grab some tomatoes to put on a salad or some cucumbers to put in a salad, that would be wonderful. It would save money and it would be a lot easier too. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting.